hands to the center, closing our eyes. Taking a slow breath in from the nose. As you breathe out, breathe out from the mouth. Slowly breathing in. Once more. Awareness in the navel, sound of. Let's get the awareness to the throat, sound of ma. Sound of O. Navel, sound of A. Kapalvati, awareness in the stomach. Stop. Breathing out strongly through the mouth. Throat lock, stomach lock, lower lock. And lock, inhale. Once more, this Mahabandha once more. Breathing out through the mouth. Throat lock, stomach lock, lower lock. Lock in here and once more. Uh. 
unlocking Halo. Cat position. Head down, back up as you breathe out. Not even much now. As you inhale, head up, lower back down. This time, head down, back up, right knee to the forehead. As you inhale, head up, right leg coming up from behind. Exhale, left knee, forehead. Inhale, left leg coming up. As you breathe out, both knees on the ground, head down, back up. As you inhale, head up, lower back down. To the center. Once more. Head down, back up. Inhale, head up, lower back down. As you exhale, right knee to the forehead. Inhale, head up, right leg up. Exhale, left knee to the forehead. Inhale, head up, left leg up. As you breathe out, put your knees down, head down, back up. Inhale, head up and lower back down. To the center. Standing position. Feet in a V-shape. Surya Kriya. Breathing out through the nose, holding the breath out. Hands coming in a namaste. Regular breathing. Back bend. Forward bend. Inhale, head up. Exhale, head down. Seven breaths. Seven such cycles. Right leg to the back. Downward dog. Knees, chest, forehead on the ground. Flatten the body on the ground, Ujjanasana and fluttering with the breath. Downward dog.
That's like to the front. Right like the front or the feet in a V shape. Inhale, head up, exhale, head down. Three cycles. Left leg to the back. Downward dog. Knees, chest, forehead on the ground. Ujjanasan and fluttering with the breath. Downward dog. Right leg to the front, left knee on the ground. Feet in a V-shape. Inhale, head up, exhale, head down. Five cycles. Standing for standing back bend. Hands in Namaste. Relax your hands, taking a breath in. Hold the breath in. Slowly breathing out. Feet, two feet away from each other. Hands just above the knees. And breathing out from the mouth, suck the stomach in.
Inhale to these. Once more. Once more. Inhale, release. The feet are going to be just two feet away from each other. Trikonasan, right foot to the right. Side bend to the right side. Left arm up, looking up towards your left thumb. Staying bent down to the side, you get the left hand down to the front of your foot, right arm up from behind. Looking up towards your right thumb, right knee is straight. Right arm down, left arm up, coming up. Change to the left side. Right arm down, left arm up, looking up towards the left thumb. Left arm down. Right arm up and coming up. Relax the arms down. Feet hip distance apart, hands interlaced behind the hips, shoulders to the back, corners and to the front. And coming up. Let's open up the hips a little bit. The goddess posture. Feet are three feet away from each other. Get the hips down and get your hands into a namaste. Squatting to the right side.
slowly, using your hands to shift to the other side. Coming up, feet three to four feet away from each other. Holding your big toes with your hands, standing split. Bend your elbows to get the head down towards the ground. Slowly walking the legs in. Inhale, arms to come up. Relax the arms down. Come to the cat position. Coming into the plank. And from here, going to the lower plank. Chest down, but not touching the ground. Coming up. And from here into the forearm plank. Relax. Hips on the heels, hands on your thighs. Knees wide away from each other. Getting your arms to come up. Left hand on the right shoulder blade, right hand on the left shoulder blade. Open up the chest. Relax the arms, getting them down. But the knees are not so slightly, so they're just a little away from each other. We rest a few moments. Forehead onto the ground, balasan.
slowly coming up. Both your legs to the front. Hands to the side of your hips. Now keep your back straight, Dandasan, and get the right leg up, pointed. So just getting the right leg up as much as possible and pointing it. You'll really feel it on the right thigh, okay? At the same time, trying not to collapse the back behind. Body still remains straight up. And relax. Left leg up. Point to the toes. Relax. Legs up to the boat position. My toes are not going up too much. Okay, they're in line with my nose. My arms are straight to the front. Coming up, Janushir Shasan, right leg to the front, left leg folded, inhale, arms up, exhale, forward bend. Inhale to come up. Relaxing the arms down. Change. Left leg to the front. Right leg folded. As you inhale, arms up. Forward bend. Inhale, coming up. Relax the arms down. Pashimotan. Inhale, coming up. 
Relax the arms down. Sweep knees up. We're going to go into the reverse plank. Let's come into the table. Now straighten the right leg, straighten the left leg, heels together and get the toes onto the ground. Relax. Resting for a few moments. Left leg folded, so the left knee is to the front, right leg comes from over, right hand behind, left arm creating a twist, head behind from the right. change. Folding the right leg in, left leg goes over, left arm behind, head behind from the left. Relax. Now, come to sit in Virasan. Now, you have a few options in this, okay? You don't have to go for all five minutes. Though eventually, in a week or two, we should reach five minutes, but we really must go for a slow. The posture is sitting in between your heels. So my heels are to the side, my hips are touching the ground. Okay, my foot has like a little distance in between. And I'm just going to try and sit like this. Okay, every minute I'm going to let you know. I'm just going to put a timer on. And you can get out after one minute or two minutes or three, whatever you like. So coming into the posture. Sitting with your hips in between the heels. Hands on your thighs. The ones I can see, nice, but for the ones whose cameras are off and I don't know, just make sure you're not sitting on your heels, okay? Your hips are touching the ground. About a minute into it, so someone of you would like to 
it's peeling a lot, it's too much, don't push it, then you can just come out of it slowly and go into Shavasana. You notice somewhere now the, the inner lock starts to happen automatically at some point. It just starts, you just start to contract it on its own. Because now it's trying to give you strength to be in this posture. Two minutes are up, so if you'd like to, you can lie down now. Okay, they're all slowly going to come out of this. So about three minutes, which is very good for now. Slowly putting your fists on the ground. Lift yourself up. By tomorrow or day after, we will touch a good four or five minutes. For now, you can just rest. And slowly get your legs to the front. And then lie down on your back in Shavasana. Slowly hugging the knees in and rocking the body. And then lie down in Shavasana. Lie down in Shavasana, close your eyes and fully relax. The practice of Virasana is just very beautiful for the Muladhar Chakra. It's contact on the ground. That's the way the legs are. Really a lot of energy gets balanced in that area. Now get your awareness to the muladhar, the perennium. And with every 
breath that goes in, I want you to just visualize that you're filling the center with a nice red liquid. A nice red healing liquid. So you're just breathing normally. And every time you breathe in, you're just filling this center with a nice healing, energizing liquid, which is red in color. And you can visualize the center as a circle. You can visualize it as a, as a heart, whatever. But you're filling this shape up. With every breath, it keeps getting more and more filled. And it's in the perineum. Slowly getting your awareness to the second center, the reproductive center, Swadishtan, wherever your reproductive organ is. And now you're going to visualize the same thing as you keep breathing in, you're filling the center with an orange healing liquid. And the awareness to the Manipura, your nasal center, wherever your stomach is going up and down, in that area, you're going to fill this time with the yellow liquid. Heart center. Center of your chest, green. Throat center, a light blue, like the color of the sky.
center of the eyebrows. The color of the liquid here will be dark blue, an indigo color. And moving into the fingers and the toes. Turning the body to the right side to come up. Coming into the cross-legged posture. Practice of Anulom Belom. Breathing in from the left nostril. Right out. Right in. Left out. Continue. After this one more life cycle, Get your hands down then. And we're going to do an alone below without using our hands. Just mentally, we're going to keep changing the nostrils. So breathing in from both nostrils, but your awareness will be on the left nostril. 
Breathing out from the right. Right in. Left out. Left in. Right out. Right in. Left out. One more cycle on your own. And we'll stop on a long below after this. Ujjayi breath. Throat. Breath in, throat breath out. Okay. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in in five. Breathing in. Two, three, four, five. And breathing out. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In, two, three, four, five. Out. In. Out. This time breathing in. Two, three, four, five. Lock the throat. Hold the breath in. Two, three, four, five. Unlock and out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Once more, breathing in. Two, three, four, five. Lock and hold. Two, three, four, five. Unlock and out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Breathing in. Two, three, four, five. Lock and hold. Two, three, four, five. And lock and out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now hold the breath out only and lock the throat again. Two, three, four, five. Unlock. So breathing in, hold. Breathing out, hold. So breathing in. Two, three, four, five. Lock and hold. Two, three, four. Five, and lock it out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lock the throat, hold the breath out. Four, five, and lock it in. Two, three, four, five, lock and hold. Two, three, four, five, and lock it out. Only the breathing out is in ten counts. Rest everything is five counts. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Lock and hold. Two, Three, four, five. Last cycle, breathing in. Two, three, four, five. Lock and hold. Two, three, four, five. And lock and out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lock and hold. Two, three, four, five. Unlock and natural breath. Now, Bhastrika is going to go like this. I'm going to ask you to go hard like this. When we finish the set, instead of stopping, we will just soften, soften the same breath. So if I'm going like this. I've softened it, but it's still fast. And then I'm going to ask you to make it hard again, like a second set. 
soften it. So though I'm pausing to talk, you don't have to pause. You just have to do one continuous pastrika. Hands on your knees. Start. Make it soft. Going a little strong. Going softer. Soft, but it's still quick, okay? hard. Soften. And stop. Slowly breathing in. Lock and hold the breath in. And lock and breathing out. And you exhale all the breath out again, lock and hold. Unlock and relax. We're going to just finish with the Om sound. This will a little bit center us as Pasrika can really be very explosive with energy. So, hands in the Gyan Mudra, chanting Om.
slowly. Lie down in Shavasana. We lie down, we rest the body a little bit because we're going to spend some time today in just watching the breath. Fully relax the body, relax the back, relax the legs. Turning your body to one side to come up. Right hand over the left hand. Watch the breath. Let the breathing happen and you just watch it moment to moment. In the beginning, you may not be able to focus on it fully for the first one or two minutes but then you'll get it and then just be with the breath
This is somewhere around five minutes of just sitting in silence and watching the light. See how beautiful what this does? Really, most of the practices can't do it. Just makes everything so light in the head. Further clears everything. A nice settling feeling happens. So it's not like we need long hours in just sitting in meditation. We finish with the sound of home. Having the palms. Palms on the ice. Thank you all very much. Tomorrow I'm going to take evening class, maybe half an hour early, 7 p.m. And I'll keep leaving recordings, okay, in case you don't make it. Bye. Thank you, Bye. Welcome. Bye.